Hey guys, so uh, I wanted to give you a quick overview of what is possible when it comes to translating my level. So <clears throat> first off, uh, inside of our customizer, uh, we have a section called translation. And it may not appear right off the bat when you sign up. So you have to go and go through that button up there where it says add translations. And that is, of course, because not everybody wants translations um, on their account and it sort of clogs up that area. But anyway, so as you turn that on here, you can select uh, any of the main languages. And if you're not listed in that main dropdown, you can show all languages and then you get a much larger list here. So uh, then you just add it in and it will be turned on. So one other thing to note is this is a global checkbox. So that means that all accounts will get it. Um, if you don't have that turned on, what you can do is under a specific location group, um, you have a translation setting available right here where it says translations. And so then you can turn that on and then that will make it so that only that location gets this button that I'm going to show you right here. So um, up here at the top, you have this additional uh, header button, which button. And this lets you toggle the different language inside of high level. Now, there are a few places where this translation does not occur. Um, side note before we get there is extra things that are added into high level, like this task button, um, all these buttons, and some of these extra menu items that are being added through the customizer um, are currently not being uh, translated because the idea was that maybe you wanted to have a specific way of saying that for your people. But um, I'm now thinking that maybe we should tran translate these because um, you might have many people in different languages you know, for instance, four or five different languages, and you should probably want to translate these into other languages. So that was my side note. But back to what we were talking about, which is the areas of high level that are not able to be translated. So in a technical area, the reason why these things cannot be translated, um, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, let's take a look at it. So here, I think this is, my loom is messing with me here. So if we look, I think funnels. All right, so funnels, everything here is being translated, which is great. Uh, but when you go to edit the page, you'll see here that this page itself is Technically, it's inside of an iframe, so there's nothing that can custom code cannot edit or you know change any of this stuff in here. Um, so we cannot touch this area here. Uh, the same goes to uh, go for the let's turn English back on um, memberships. So you'll see here once again anything that is in a separate iframe cannot be touched. So you'll see here that the membership builder is actually built inside of an iframe here. So the translation can't pass through that. So you'll see here when I translate it, everything. There's just nothing that we can do to fix that aside from using maybe a Chrome extension, but that kind of defeats the purpose of making it look like it's part of the end. So but anyway, so you've got the areas that cannot be translated are memberships, uh, the the page editor, and um, the social media posting. Here we go, social media planner. So this area right here, once again, is a separate iframe, as well as the email. This is yeah, the email builder is a separate iframe as well. So you'll see here, if we look at it, there you go, there's that iframe and you can't touch that. 
So uh, another thing to note, which is helpful, is high level is moving in the direction of getting translations set up. So uh, one cool thing that they did recently is in calendars, uh, you can actually select the preferred widget language, which is pretty awesome. Another thing you can do is you can link and if you add lang equals then your country code or your language code, it will, looks like it's not doing it for these types of calendars, but it doesn't for the team calendars. So here, just take a look at the um, name. There you go. Like the days right there and months. Uh, doesn't seem to do it up here, but uh, it does do it elsewhere. And the other parts like this stuff and all of this can be edited using um, some scripts and CSS and stuff that we have on ours. But again, we're trying to look at scaling. So probably not the best to be able to like to tell people, oh, you have to use a custom script to make that change. But it is possible, but that's the way to do it right now. So let's see. Last thing to note is that of course the mobile website, not the mobile, the mobile app itself, of course, is not going to be translated um, through this system up here. Uh, so that's about the extent. So uh, lastly, this is included in the customizer. So you have to have the GHL customizer in order to get this drop down up here through our system. And that is available on the agency plan or the full tool. So um, if you guys have questions on the let me know.